Welcome back to Mina's bookshop. I'm doing now the air signs. This is a general energy check-in for the month of August for Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. These are general readings, might relate to different areas of your life. So messages about your professional path, uh, financial situation, general well-being, love and relationships might come uh, through, through actually. Um, these messages might resonate with you entirely or partially. Just take with you whatever um, matches your life story and disregard whatever doesn't ring a bell. I'm going to start with the um, with Gemini. I'm using three decks again. Uh, I'm using the familiar familiar field tarot. For those of you who are interested in uh, which decks I'm using, this is a new release by US Games. I'm using the Field Tarot and a final affirmation from the Crystal Blessing cards. Okay. Okay, as I prepare the cards, I would like to thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, share, sharing, subscribing, hit the notification bell leaving your constructive feedback please let me know if these readings resonate with you i hope they're helpful I hope the messages will guide you um, through the month of august spirit guides from the pure white light guardian angel seven the saints please protect me during my readings provide me with clarity guidance and inspiration i'm going to draw a first card uh, as a significator for your own energy from the animal deck and the second card to signify the energy of the environment around you okay so first gemini what is your energy this is the mouse focus conservation and modesty this is attention to details attention to the minutiae the little things and also being very conservative and frugal with your resources energy of the environment there was a technical issue for uh, with the readings uh, that i did just before these ones uh, audio and video were not in sync so there was a problem um, in between the taurus and the virgo reading i really apologize about that in case you are interested in uh, watching also the other um, the other signs so this is a reading for gemini sun sign moon sign rising sign and placements of jupiter virgo and mars so what is the energy around you the energy of the environment around you gemini this card foresight aspiration individuality this is a card that indicates higher perspective somebody with such a long neck has the ability to take a look at a situation from a point of advantage because of the height so i would say positive energy in your environment bottom of the deck clarity destiny and clairvoyance All right, let's clarify with the tarot and see, Gemini, what is going on for you? What is the situation here? The main focus for the month of August. The energy of your current situation. Oh, too many cards, but only one show is showing uh, its face. It's the Ace of Disc, Dwarf. Um, this is a big opportunity for you to increase your wealth, prosperity, and financial stability. I do have a feeling that this is a reading that regards um, that particular sphere of your life, uh, conservation and modesty, so it's an in a, a smart and clever way to use your resources. There is an opportunity that is about to show itself to you or has presented itself to you already to enhance your financial stability. It could be a new job, a, some sort of a compensation, money coming your way, uh, financial resources being offered to you, the opportunity to create income. Let's see, what is the challenge for Gemini? Gemini, what is the challenge for you during the month of August? What's the challenging energy for you, Gemini? 
what is the challenging energy for you gemini the queen of swords keywords on this card is independence well this is a card that indicates a certain lack of mental clarity we're looking at it as if it came out in the reverse because it's the challenging energy so we're looking at the challenging aspect of this arcana so um problems with communications problem with the decision uh, decisional power um problems with mental clarity um somebody you might have been expecting some commu communications from might be silent at the moment you might have not received the informations that were necessary for you to be able to grab this opportunity here what is the guidance for you gemini guidance for gemini what is the guidance in this situation what do you need to do for your highest good leadership king of wands i mean the ball is in your court this is what this card is telling you it's up to you now to make some important decisions it feels like you are the one who needs to grab the bulls by the horn you are um, by the horns you are the one who needs to grasp this opportunity if there is a delay in communication don't wait for this communication to arrive to you make sure that you initiate um communication make sure that you are the one who picks up the phone writes the emails knocks at the door of the people who are um, you know responsible for this opportunity um be let's say the the master of your own existence take initiative make the decisions possible outcome king cups control um this is a situation about that might make you um emotionally very gratified um this could be also the intervention of somebody here that might provide counseling this is a very emotionally well leveled well balanced person that might intervene and help you I get access to this uh, opportunity to uh, enhance your financial stability on the bottom of the deck three of swords sorrow there is a chance of a disappointment or clarity the ace of swords in reverse and justice this is a lot has to do a lot with documents written papers communications uh, phone calls emails uh, official communications it feels like there is some sort of obstacle something it's something is posing an obstacles to uh communications relating to this ace of pentacles energy let me know in um, the comment section if this reading resonates with you in which way this giraffe here and the king wants him to be the same person there's somebody in your environment that can provide comfort can provide counseling can provide guidance this is somebody who has a better perspective of the situation somebody they can look at the situation from a point of adventure from a advantage uh, advantage from a higher perspective we'll read from the guidebook and see if there are uh, some more informations here okay this could be a counselor somebody who can provide guidance let's pull a card also from the crystal affirmation cards to see if you can get uh, some extra messages to help you get through the situation we have the red tiger eye stand up for yourself this is what i said with the king of uh, wands you need to take the initiative nobody has your interest at heart as best uh, as better as you do um it's in your hands you need to take some uh, important decisions you need to be become proactive do people demand demand more from you because you are a soft touch do they speak to you in a condescending way red tiger eye helps you stand up for yourself so others won't take advantage of you you need not be combative or confrontational instead like the majest, majestic tiger red tiger eye imbues you with the inner power to walk in, in uh, your serenity the color red imparts courage spurring you to assert yourself with aplomb and without fear of other people's reactions the affirmation is i exude inner power and strength that can be perceived by others um 
this message makes me also think that this energy the king of cups could be your energy as well you might be guided to take the initiative to protect your own interest here to protect this opportunity for you to increase your wealth um you might also be tempted to um, have a confrontational, very passionate attitude in, way, in the way you handle this situation, which is good. You definitely need to take uh, charge of the situation because there's somebody here in the environment who's not talking, who's not providing the information that you need. Uh, you also need to be a kind of, a, you need to control your emotions here. You don't want to come through as the person who is, um, you know, trying to start a confrontation. Or it could be an external energy of somebody who can keep, you know, everybody's um, in check when it comes to emotions. Because this is a situation that might create a sort of impatience. Uh, because somebody's posing obstacles to your ability to put your hands on this Ace of Pentacles. Whatever this Ace of Pentacles is in your life, whatever it represents for you, just... Um, adapt the me these messages to your personal circumstances let's quickly read from the guidebook i think i missed it in the previous readings and i'm sorry about that but i find these messages sometimes to be very eye-opening so we're looking for the mouse in the earth uh, element focus conservation and modesty this is your energy gemini often overlooked or underestimated the mouse is impressively capable the mouse teaches us how to use our resources wisely, whether that be energy, time, money, or community. This card also suggests you may be getting ahead of yourself, trying to multitask, or forgetting to focus on the details. Take things one step at a time and appreciate even the smallest accomplishments. With this Queen of War, uh, Queen of Swords in uh, in reverse, this is the problems with managing the little details of this situation. And I have the feeling that it, 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 this card signifies, in particular, lack of transparent and clear communication. The giraffe, the energy around you, the energy of the environment around you in this situation, foresight, aspiration, and individuality. At heights of up to 20 feet, the giraffe is the tallest land animal on earth. In a class of its own, it is sure to stand out from the crowd and holds the rare ability to see far off into the distance. If you find yourself in need of guidance, and this is the guidance and the counselor here, exemplified by the King of Cups. So if you find yourself in need of guidance, call upon this unique spirit animal to open up your line of sight. The giraffe's lofty height is also a symbol of hope and ambition. Dream big as there is nothing out of your reach. So this is the guidance in your environment. This is the very wise person, very empathic. Um, somebody who is willing to, to help you, a very loyal person. Okay, so this was the reading for you, Gemini. Please let me know in the comment section how it resonated um, in your personal situation. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And don't forget that if you would like to receive a personal reading with me, you can talk, contact me at the email address you find in the description of all my videos to book the reading. Thank you so much for watching and many blessings. Now we're moving to uh, the next air sign. We're doing Libra. Okay, putting some decks away. Libra. We're going to pull a card for Libra, Sun sign, Moon sign, Rising sign, placements of Jupiter, Mars, and Venus. So what is the your personal energy during the month of August, Libra? These messages uh, might relate to any sphere of your life, but anyway, because they're general messages, might resonate with you only partially. Just take whatever resonates with your personal story, disregard the rest, or adapt the messages to the, uh, your personal circumstances. So Libra, what is your personal energy during the month of August? Libra. What does Libra need to know about her personal energy? The swan, a love, a lure, and purity. Potentially, this reading might have messages about love and relationships. 
what is the energy of the environment the energy around you we have the impala intensity vigilance and speed maybe somebody around you is eager to move forward within a relationship situation um, very quickly speedy it's up to you is this the way you want to uh, see your relationships grow the cat on the bottom of the deck curiosity autonomy and magic symbol of independence and mystery as well the black cats covering up something let's ask the tarot what are you dealing with here libra for the month of um, august why do we have the swan and the impala so a card for the situation at hand Libra, what do you need to know? What is the energy of your current situation? What is the theme, the theme of this reading? What do you need to know, Libra, about your current situation? The moon. Mm. Lack of transparency, lack of clarity, mystery. Something is shrouded in mystery in the light of the moon. There's something that needs to come to the, to the light, something that needs to come to the surface. You're dubious, uncertain, fearful about a situation that is not absolutely clear to you. So there are doubts. If you're um, about to make some important decisions about a relationship, so to speak, since we got this one here as your significator card. Do you have questions that don't have answers right now? Are you seeking for the truth? Are you afraid to move forward because you don't know what's coming? Are you afraid of the unknown? What is the challenge? The moon card is a challenge in itself. But let's see further. And we're going to read this card as if it came out in the reverse. And it did. It's the Ace of Wands energy. This is the passionate beginning, the inspiration to take action towards the fulfillment of a of a goal so somebody who's afraid of the unknown somebody who doesn't have you know clarity clear signals to rely on of course is not going to be willing to move forward what is the guidance that you need to receive what is the guidance that you need to receive in this situation libra what is the guidance you need to receive in this situation? Ace of Discs, Wealth. This is the Ace of Pentacles. I think there's also another card that's speaking out that wants to be seen. Is the Devil. Um, I think that there's an opportunity for you, a tangible, concrete opportunity for you to create a liaison with the devil card i'm thinking about karmic unions um you know con connections um with another person but not in a on a more physical level i would say um interesting so what is the possible outcome of this situation so there is an opportunity for you to hook up for lack of better words with somebody and it feels like this person here signified by the impala intensity vigilance and speed is actually eager to um to move forward in this connection pretty quickly so be careful three of swords ay 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 well it might not end up well or it might not end up as well as you were expecting um, with this devil card after all there was already an, indi an indication that this was a kind of a tricky situation very tempting the opportunity is very tempting here to create a connection uh, with this uh, energy here but if you had doubts in the beginning well you should listen to your guts if your guts are telling you that uh, you don't want to move forward at least not so quickly because you're not sure about this person you're not sure about this relationship maybe you should listen to your um, your internal gps because this is the possible outcome of course these are readings for entertainment purposes only 
uh, you're the ultimate um, judge of your situation. So you do what you're more um, guided to, uh, inspired to do. But this is definitely a warning. This is a very tempting. And you see how these two cards are very similar to each other. We have the Impala and the Goat here. This is a very tempting, very tempting uh, situation, opportunity. And I really feel like it's about something in your relationships, uh, love and relationships connections. But it's not promising that well. There could be betrayal here. There could be disappointment, unhappiness, hurt, emotional hurt. And certainly something that will teach you a lesson about, um, you know, relationships from the blessing the crystal blessing cards let's see what's the message you need to you need to receive some further guidance as i said before there's a little bit of uh, mystery here with this black cat and sometimes somebody might be hiding uh, i'm reading the black color as a sign of uh, uh, color up uh, hiding covering uh the true colors something is not showing it's his true colors or her true colors so be careful libra what is the further guidance and affirmation you need to receive record keeper orthoceras fossil orthoceras fossil contains the skeletal remain of the mollusk that lived more than 400 million years ago it can be viewed as a record keeper and used to gain greater awareness of times gone by. If you would like to dig deeper into your Akashic records and learn about your soul origin, Orthoceras fossil can be of assistance. Physically, it helps align the spine and skeletal structure. Emotionally, it provides a sense of support and inner strength. Inner strength. The affirmation, by tapping into my hall of records, I gain greater awareness of myself and my soul purpose. Deep inside, you know that this situation is not a positive one. Very alluring, absolutely very tempting, but it doesn't lead to anything, anything good. And you definitely need to listen to your sixth sense, to your internal GPS that is warning you that this is not uh, a situation somebody wants to jump ahead too quickly in this connection so to speak all right so this was my reading for libra i'm moving on now to um aquarius thank you so much for watching libra please like share subscribe leave your notification in uh, hit the notification bell and leave your feedback in the comment section to let me know how this reading resonated with you i hope it was helpful we're reading now for uh, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, a rising sign, and placement of Jupiter, Venus, and Mars. Messages reading to different areas of your, of your life might come uh, through, adapting to your circumstances and disregard whatever doesn't ring a bell with your personal story. All right, Aquarius, what is the, your uh, personal energy? during the month of august we have ant unity teamwork and burden you're working really hard or you're called to work really hard not only working hard but working in collaboration teamwork and i'm not amazed because a sense of community for aquarius is always very strong what is the energy of the environment around you dragonfly i've seen so many dragonflies uh recently and they're not very common in uh, in my area illusion lightness and shifting so there is and your energy here is very committed to hard work to collaboration but it feels like somebody around you might be a little too flighty uh, might skim the surface of what they're supposed to do, supposed to do it feels like you're working a lot and somebody around you might not be um, working with the same level of commitment as you are the panda solitude tranquility and contentment on the bottom of the deck let's ask the tarot aquarius what is going on why do we have the ant and the dragonfly dominant uh, dominant energy for the month of august what is the energy of your uh, most meaningful situation what is the energy for you for august aquarius 
five of swords conflicts this could be an internal conflict but i am really guided to say that it's more um you being at odds with uh, somebody else in your environment especially if there is a level of commitment here in your energy that is not matched by the environment or the people around you who are supposed to collaborate but probably are not so there might be a little bit of uh, conflicts here uh, for some of you, there might have been also a verbal confrontation with somebody or a sort of disappointment, defeat, as the, uh, the card says. The four of wands is the challenge. We read it as if it came out in reverse because we look at the challenging aspect of this card. So uh, there's lack of harmony in a community, in a group between you and another person. Um, this could be a reading that relates to work environment. Uh, if you're working on a project, uh, if you are working in a, in a team uh, at work, um, there might be lack of collaboration, lack of harmony. Um, you don't share the same views, the same values with other people. It seems like you're the hard working one and somebody else around you is just, just flying, busy flying around guidance what guidance need you you need to receive aquarius what is the guidance you need to receive princess of cups dreams well a creative idea that's the first thing that came up to mind a creative idea um a creative way to tackle this project if this is a project it could be, if this is a relationship, this is an indication that you need to open your heart to a new um, and different uh, emotionally gratifying experiences and possible outcome. The king of discs, power. And this is the achievement of something tangible, uh, gaining, uh, reaping the fruits of your hard work. Bottom of the deck. Prince of Discs, Reliability. If I had to compare the um, Knight of uh, Pentacles to an animal totem, it would be the end. Very hardworking, uh, infatigable, hardworking um, knight. So there might be a new brilliant idea, something that catches you by surprise, open your heart to different possibilities, and I do believe that there will be a positive outcome to this, this, this situation, despite the fact that somebody is not really helping you, is not really cooperating. From the Crystal Affirmations deck, what is the affirmation you need to receive? Aquarius. I hope everything is okay with the audio. There was a problem um, when I did the earth science video and audio were not in sync. I don't know. It's Mercury retrograde. I'm always affected. My ability to use technology when um, Mer uh, Mercury retrograde is always affected. Beautiful. Amber, happiness. Amber is not actually a stone or crystal, but a fossilized resin of a pine tree. Created by the fusion of the sun with the living essence of plants and trees, amber is a form of solidified sunlight, bringing radiance, vitality, warmth, and light. This golden yellow gemstone benefits people with seasonal affective disorder and depression from light deprivation. Amber encourages you to go outside, get some sunlight, play, be lighthearted, and find happiness within. I choose to do things that uplift me and bring me happiness. This is very much the energy of the uh, Princess of Cups, which is the Page of Cups. Um, you know, you're the person here that is working really hard and you are doing most of the work and you're probably getting very tired. The um, risk of burnout is, is real. So this card is inviting you to get a more lighthearted uh, light hearted approach towards whatever you've done. It will actually help you achieve your goals better. Okay, uh, so this was the reading for Aquarius, Sun, Sign, Moon, Sign, uh, Rising Sign, and Mars, Jupiter, and Venus placements. 
Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if this reading resonated with you at all in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get updated um, about my future.